Fuck this camera, okay? I just did this video and then it fucking ran out of room on me. Shit, man. It was so good. Fuck. Oh, my God. Yo, if you people on YouTube that watch this think that I don't love you guys, like, think again. Because I fucking go out of my way for these fucking videos. I got to shoot another one and I actually have to leave the house before I do it. But whatever. Hi guys, story time 2008. Yeah, all the excitement was wasted on the last video. 2008 was the first year that I was becoming a man. And the rest of my the rest of the years of my life as a man will always start from 2008. Now, 2008, I was still working at that job. Uh I, that was the year I yeah, I know I'm boring because I fucking used up all my excitement in the last video. I wrote my first song that year. I really want you guys to hear it because I remember the lyrics, but I just don't want anybody to steal it. I mean, I could sue somebody, but I don't want to fucking go through that. Like, I really don't. That's the main reason I never released it. Um, I don't want to get a patent in either because the lyrics are kind of embarrassing, but I did write my first song that year. And it's funny. And I wrote it about Lance. And speaking of Lance, that motherfucker, Lance. Yeah, I wrote my first song about him, but I Taylor Swifted him. But uh, he betrayed me the year before, right? So I, what we did was, because that was his last year graduating, we, 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 uh, I had the girls that he was sending nasty messages to copy it. And I, I fucking had my homeboy make copies of those, and we passed them around the school. And then motherfucker's whole... Senior year was ruined. That was funny. I didn't graduate that year, but he did. I I went to Peru that year. Um, another family reunion. Uh, very fun. I think. Yeah, it was fun. Um, Batman: The Dark Knight came out. That was like the most popular movie of that year. Like, uh, it was cool. I went and saw it in Peru in the movie theater. It was fun. But uh, geez, what the fuck is wrong with me? Yeah, I wasted a good surprise on the last video. Um, what else happened? John Cena won the Rumble, and I did not like that. But then I because the whole year before was like he was on top, and then he gets injured. We're all happy, and then he wins the fucking Rumble. <sighs> but I was like, I don't know why I'm so mad that he won. I gave him a chance, and I supported him, and he still fucking lost. And then I didn't even know that they were going to give it to him in 2013, another fucking Rumble win. You know, fuck that shit. Uh, TNA was good. They had the main event mafia, which I loved. I loved the main event mafia. Oh, the NWO. Some people didn't see that, so fuck you. Um, very fun. I love that shit. I loved it all. Um, oh, goodness, I'm fucking tired, bitch. I'm fucking tired. I saw. I ordered all the TNA pay-per-views, or almost all of them, in 2008. Uh. I like the fat ass girl, but I'm glad that it didn't work out. Fat girls are the best. They give the best head and they know how to take it. They know how to give it too. <laughs> you know? That's why I want to fuck Megan Trainer before I die. Um but the thing is, that year I met a young man named Chris. And we're talking about backstabbers like Lance. It really hurts how things ended up with me and Chris because all the life lessons, like the stuff I learned about, like, girls and dealing with assholes and putting on an act or all that. Everything that I'm known for since 2008 was all I learned from that guy, Chris. That motherfucker taught me. And I've used those skills uh, to help other people. It just really sucks the fallout that we had, but. I met him and I was very hard to trust back then, but I actually gained his trust. And he was a huge Metallica fan. So he uh he he formed this group called Orion, named after an instrumental by Metallica. And it was a really good instrumental. And uh I'm trying to see if I remember the members. Chris, me, Julio, James, and Max. There was this other guy that showed up named Paul. I didn't like him. The kid that I told you guys I fought in my last video, that was his brother who told me that he quit school because he lost the fight. 
and didn't want to get embarrassed. So, uh, yeah, that was a pretty good year. I love 2008. Um, I, I was doing better in school the first half of that year. The summer was really fun, especially when we were in Peru. And then I was into rap music back then. I think Lil Wayne was my favorite rapper. We came back from Peru and I was into rock. I was listening to more of the modern rock, though. I found out about Hole that year with Courtney Love's band. Um, I started listening to bands like uh, Cobra Starship and uh, Theory of a Dead Man. Um, it was a really fun year. I, I thought it was a fun year for wrestling, too. Um, and then to late 2008, I loved Halloween was on a fucking Friday. How badass is that? And then we, we went to an event called Holy Wind. That was fun, yo. Um, I liked the Thanksgiving that I had that year. And was the Christmas good? Yeah, why not? That was a great year. Um, now that I think about it, I, I miss it. I was into so much fucking music back then, so much wrestling. I was becoming a man. I was just in my own world. And, and I still am to an extent. That was just the first year. That was the first year of this new process in my life that I'm going to be living on till I'm dead, right? Everything before that, before 2008, was preparing me for this. I think 2008 is also the year that Sense of Anarchy started, which is cool. <laughs> and it's badass. We're badass. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm trying to see. WrestleMania 24 was in Orlando. I didn't go, but. The car was good. It had money Mayweather. Ric Flair retired. Um, yeah, I I became a man that year, you know. This was a quick video. I'm surprised. I'm sure there was a lot more to talk about. 2008. It was really fun. I guess for me, like, personally, like, it was fun. I made a lot of new friends. You In 2009, you're going to see where all those friendships end, ended up. But, uh, yeah. These little kids that I fucking hated were in high school, so I have to see them now. And I was with them. And, uh, yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, I, I downloaded a lot of songs. Um, I had my boy make a fucking CD because I didn't have an MP3 player back then. Yeah, that summer was pretty badass. It was fun. It was fun to be in the airport and going to Peru in the summer. Uh, the, f the first half of... 2008, which was the end of that school year, was emotional. I really, that group of Ryan, I love those fucking guys to death. I wanted to see them again. I wanted to go back to school to hang out with them. Um, we all, like, hugged. We did, like, the click. Uh, what's it called? The, the Madison Square Garden incident or something? The curtain call or something like that, where we all hugged. And then we didn't see each other until August when school started again. That was that killer. That was that killer. And, uh, yeah, you'll find out where that where that ended up in the next video. But, yeah, 2008, man. That was that killer, bro. That was that killer. Well, I hope you guys like this video. Am I forgetting something? Oh, yeah. One more thing. I think that James Bond movie came out that year, too. Uh, Quantum of Solace. That was a good movie. But I hated it. Twilight started, and oh my god, all the girls, Edward, Edward, Edward. If you was in high school that year, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. Um, mother of Christ, like, there's Edwards out there, ladies. You guys just have to look for them, and you could start by stop fucking dating these jocks. You know what I mean? You know, to all my exes out there, I'm gonna close it out with this. You can delete my number. You can block my Facebook. But you can never, ever unsuck my cock. <laughs> All right, y'all. Take care. All right, guys. Take care. Bye, guys. All right, guys. Take care. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Go away. Go. Go. Chew. Chew, fly. Don't bother me.